Greetings, happy Tuesday. I'm the Moon Mama, how are you all doing? Welcome. So today I wanna to talk about Mars. Mars is, a, Mars is the day that govern, Mars is the energy <laughs> and the planet and the deity that governs Tuesday. But first I want to say um, we are moving towards the Mercury retrograde class on Friday with where we are going to have a sister by the name of Serki come and teach us about the power of Kali and how we can access power within our shadows. We already had um, Ricky Williams who talked about how to use this Scorpio energy with Mercury retrograde in it and how to do the work to go back into your psyche and see what things you need to release and how you can be present with the painful things you do experience and the and the painful things that you've caused as well because we've all done we've all done some harm in our lives to others I know that I have um intentionally and even unintentionally I've done it unintentionally and intentionally sometimes there have been times I've done that um, but and that's the human experience like we are always in a process of becoming ourselves and bumping into one another and discovering what works and what doesn't but right now while we're in this incredible shifting energy on the planet we are all needing to learn how to how to work with energy how to how to follow energy how the energy is working within our lives how the electromagnetic field which is an energy force that is everywhere present at all times maybe that source energy and i would say that it is we need to understand how it's communicating with us and we're communicating with it. But many of us have a lot of baggage. We have resentments and unforgiveness and fears and judgments that we're holding on to from our childhoods, um, from our parents, from relationships past, from you know our failures or things like that. And that stuff has to be addressed. You cannot you cannot function over things like they're not there. Everything is still there. Just because, you know, just because you broke up with somebody years ago and it was a bad breakup and you guys don't talk to one another anymore, it doesn't mean that the energy of that experience isn't still living in your body and in your psyche. And so in order to ascend, you have to clear stuff out. You have to get rid of things. And um, that's what this what the Mercury retrograde class will do. It'll help you go into your shadow so that you can begin to ascend out of the darkest experiences in your life. Huh. And for those of you who'd like to sign up for um, Mars for readings, you can sign up for a Mercury retrograde reading here on my link tree. And I can, if you don't want to take the class, I can spend some time with you just looking at where Mercury re is retrograding through your chart and to help you understand how you should be using this energy. So for instance, Mercury is retrograding through my chart in the eighth house. The eighth house is about alchemy and transformation and death. So I literally am going through a bit of a death. I am, my identity is shifting. And so there are parts of me that are dying and I am doing the work to assist myself in that because what happens is when we don't do the work to do it, then it will get done anyway, but it will drag us. So I encourage you to either sign up for the Mercury Retrograde class or sign up for a Mercury Retrograde reading and allow me to assist you in moving this energy through so that you can be on the other side of this come November 3rd when this retrograde is over with, but then we also have three weeks of shadow. So today is a Mars day and Mars is currently at 19 degrees of Aries retrograding and Mars in Aries Mars governs the mansion of Aries so this energy is about a new beginning it really is giving us an opportunity to redefine ourselves if you guys were watching Lovecraft um, one of my favorite episodes was the episode where um, what's her name Hopa Hippotida um, I, can, I cannot pronounce her name and I'm not going to try to, so forgive me if I'm messing it up. But where she, the, where she went into this new dimension, you know, I think she said it was Earth 275, and this divine being told her to name herself. This is the energy of Mars retrograde. 
you get to name yourself, but you can't name yourself if you have all of these other things in place. If you have guilt in place, if you have shame in place, then you're naming yourself shame. Then you're naming yourself guilt. Then you're naming yourself trauma. You're naming yourself victim. So you've got to do the work to move those energies out so that you can name yourself what you desire and actually experience it. So um, several weeks ago, I created a Mars retrograde class, you can go take that class. In that class, my beloved friend and sister, Kenya K. Stevens, taught what we call the, um, what she calls the trust form. And it's an incredible, incredible skill of being able to align the heart and the mind so that we can begin to trust ourselves. So many of us have made really challenging decisions and you know, done things that cause us pain and so we don't listen to ourselves anymore. We have a hard time deciphering the voice of the higher self within us. So this Mars and retrograde course will help you learn how to hear who is speaking, who is speaking and address your needs at the deepest level. Many of us have childhood needs that are still running us. We didn't get the attention that we desire from our parents. We didn't get our needs met. We weren't seen as who we truly are. We didn't feel connected in the ways. And so that energy is still running us because those un unmet needs become like entities inside of us that then are moving us through the world and we start to manipulate and, and try and control and force and for make things happen attempting to get our needs met but we have to address those things on our own because no one else can meet them so mars and aries retrograding right now is asking us to know ourselves in a new way to begin to identify ourselves in ways that we have not up till now and are you ready for that you know we have mars retrograde going on we have mercury retrograde going on now and so I know in my own life, this is really, this is not an easy time. It's challenging, but it's easier than it would be if if this were 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I would have been suicidal right now because this energy is very intense. And so many of us have um, put other people before us. We We have felt like we need somebody to behave a certain way in order for us to feel safe in the world. So we don't really know ourselves. We doubt ourselves. And one of the things that I have been looking at in my life, because Mars is the warrior energy, it's like looking, I'm looking at all of the places in my life where I have gone through the most traumatic things and walked out of it with no scratches on me. Yesterday, I was sharing in my video yesterday, if you didn't see it, you know, I had lived through gang violence. I lived through the crack epidemic in Watts, which was damn near where it started. Um, I've lived through having abusive parents and both of my parents dying. And I have come out of it with emotional trauma, but that's all stuff that could be healed. <laughs> you know, I mean, anything can be healed, honestly. But what I'm really looking at is all the things that I have come through and what that means, that I have power. It means that I have power to elevate, to ascend out of any circumstance if I am willing to. And for those of us who are melanated beings, who come from the, you know, the coast of Africa over ships, you have to understand that that passageway from Africa to America, for those of us who are descendants of the captives of that, it means that we are supernatural beings. The challenge is that we don't think we are. The challenge is that this country has conditioned us to believe that we are victims and that someone did something to us. But if we can just begin to reframe that story into an understanding that we are heroic because we experienced and endured heroic events. And for us to stand here, no, we didn't do it, but our ancestors did it. So if you understand, you know, genealogy, whatever your ancestors experience live inside of you. You are the outpicturing of your ancestors. You are the fulfillment of your ancestors. So whatever power that they didn't access or they didn't have, it's still there. It's not gone anywhere. You have to just do the work to resource it. And so that's what I'm doing. And for those of you who are still here, I know I'm, yesterday I was so 
I wasn't concerned, but I was aware that I was sharing about my process and thinking people were gonna unfollow me and people did and that's totally great because what I know now is those of you who are here are warriors and you guys are ready to do the work and we are birthing a new reality and we're birthing a new reality through our consciousness. So today the moon is in Sagittarius and the moon in Sagittarius is about your faith your ability to go on an adventure, your ability to move into a foreign way, a place that you've not seen before inside of yourself, understanding that you are connected to all things, right? We Everything is within us, so we have access to everything. So I encourage you to ask yourself the deeper questions, right? Ask yourself the deeper meanings of what is it that you really want from your life? Who are you really here to be? What do you really want to experience and what would it take for you to do that? What would you have to let go of? What stories would you have to release in order for you to become the superhero in your own life? What what identities would you have to let go of in order for you to become the power source in your own life? In order for you to stop thinking that, you know, some elected official is going to do something that makes a difference in your life. Elected officials don't make a difference in our lives. They absolutely do not. They just siphon our energy off. So what is it that you need to become in order for you to be empowered and fully sovereign in your own life? What story do you need to let go of? What story do you need to take on? And when you get clear about that, if you're ready, come and see me or sign up for one of the classes and let's do the work because we are building a new reality. I want y'all to know America as we know it has been canceled. <laughs> They're talking about this is the cancel culture. The ultimate cancellation is canceling America. And that's what's happening. And it's happening because Pluto is in Capricorn and Mars is retrograde. Pluto and it Mars retrograde is square to Pluto and Capricorn, Saturn and Capricorn, and Jupiter and Capricorn. So it's the, the energy is literally saying, take your power back. You are the leader in your life. You don't need anybody to lead you. And that can be a scary, threatening thing. And I get it. I really do. I remember when I realized that it was going to be up to me. I was sitting at Agape with Reverend Michael Beckwith in church and the, 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 room was filled. If you guys know Agape. And he said, ain't nobody coming. And I damn near fell out on the floor crying ah! because I had been conditioned that Jesus was coming. And I thought in and of myself, I'm going to die because I cannot save myself. And that could not have been more alive than anything else. And here's the thing. The ego can't save you, but the divinity within you, the higher self within you can save you and will and is waiting on you to activate it to do so. But there is a process that you have to act, access, resource in order to activate it. So with that, I'm the Moon Mama. Have a really beautiful day. Um, happy Tuesday. And is there anything else? Not that I can think of. I love you. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.